All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the island. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. I'm back home. Haven't been here for a while. Ooh, there are red. There is redstone and iron in here. I shouldn't leave things behind like this. This is the reason why I have nothing. Look at that, 29 obsidian, coal. Oh man, these are valuables. I'm down here. Let me show you. Can I? Mm -hmm. I want these. Yeah, and then let's put them together. I'm down here by the melon and pumpkin farm that we created a while ago now. Um, haven't been here. Ooh, we just farmed it. Haven't been here in a while. I wanted to see how we're doing. Oh, look at that. We are full with melons. What? Oh, baby. This thing keeps running um, when we're not online. Because this is... Or when, we, <laughs> when we're not online, it keeps running. No, that's false. It runs when we are playing in the world, regardless of where we are, because this is in the spawn chunks, or in the loaded area anyway, I think. I don't know how that works exactly, if the if the edges of spawn is... maybe not. I'm confusing you right now. Anyway, I'm just here. Uh, I was just running through here. Let me... I'll, I'll do this all later, I guess. Um, put these back. But that's fantastic results. We are... We're rolling in melons and pumpkins now, which is fantastic. That's really good. I was down here because I was going to go down to the mob farm. Uh, or the output of the mob farm. I don't know if it's been running, but I'm going to need for this, for today. I'm going to need some TNT and I'm going to need some gunpowder to start crafting the TNT. Um, and I figured it's been so long since we've been down here again. So I kind of want to bring you, but now I filled my inventory with other stuff. How are we? Oh yeah, baby, we're doing good. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We don't have to worry. Is there a chest behind here that I left? I think there is up here that I can just dump this stuff off and I will forever forget it again. When I complain next time about iron or... or uh, uh, well, mostly iron. When I complain next time about not having any iron, uh, let me know. Remind me, Iskal is down here at the mob farm thing you have. You have... Oh no, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring it. But if, if I need coal... Actually, I'm gonna bring that too. <laughs> I'm so unorganized, it's crazy! I have done some work since last time on the um, on the industrial area. Thank you guys so much for, for the likes uh, and comments on that video. The likes were through the roof. Likes were through the roof. Subboxes has been broken a bit on YouTube though, I've noticed. Um, I've never ever complained about that before, but... Um, Lately, it's it's been pretty bad views on overall on stuff, but um, usually uh, things pick up after a while. If you really like, uh, if you really don't want to miss a, a video that I do, you should just uh, browse my channel. I, I do post almost daily, almost every day. There is a Minecraft video here in case you're craving, you know. Because uh, I did get a tweet like, "Iskal, you haven't posted a video in two days," and I was like, "What? Yes, I have. Don't be crazy now, guy." Um, anyway, okay, <laughs> so that's a little bit of a weird intro. I am not very organized. We do it together today. This redstone will come in hand, and we put this in there, and you in there, and this wood is, like, epic. And let's also just, I guess, get rid of that, and the coal will put... Uh, we actually have an order sorted for coal box, okay. Uh, do we have any sand is the question. Eight pieces, fantastic. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna head over and, and collect a little bit of sand over at my sand pit area. Hopefully there is a little bit left in that biome. It's, it's almost completely dug out. Uh, I'm gonna head over there and collect some sand. We're gonna need probably around three, four stacks of TNT to do what I want to do here today. I'm super excited because I get to blow something up. Um, we're starting a project that I do not know if we'll be able to finish today. It's kind of a grindy thing. Uh, but we'll see how things goes, how much we, we do today. Uh, where is my sand pit? This new nether hub, we need to look at this. <laughs> this is me transporting villagers over to the industrial area. Uh, I think it's over here, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to work on some tunnels here and stuff as well. We basically need to stream from Iskal's Island, and I know a lot of you have been, have been supporting that idea, saying, of course you should stream from Iskal's Island. Um... So that, that would be a thing. Possibly during my vacation, which is coming up. Oh, baby, I'm so excited. I'm getting to have vacation. This is the sandpit, beautifully marked out.
here's another new thing in 1.10 ghost blocks <laughs> that wasn't actually what i was gonna say this here this is uh sand that is not allowed to be here because uh it should uh, technically fall, but because Minecraft spawned things in like this, whenever this happens, there are particles, and I think this is really cool. If you're starting like a new world and and you and you want a base, like find that you could build a base with particles hanging above it. I think that could be pretty cool. Come on now. Anyway, I've collected the sand, made three stacks so far. I'm gonna need to pick up some more gunpowder, but. Um, that's all the sand, uh, hopefully, that we're gonna need for now. This place is looking pretty sick. Very industrial. We should have built the the farms over here. Uh, would have made more sense, but hey. Uh, <laughs> then we couldn't make ice farms, I suppose, so... There are two diamonds just laying around here. I mean, come on, Iskal. Why are you so... Why are you so slobby with your items? <laughs> Um, so I've ran into a little bit of a problem preparing our big explosion. I just died, and do we have any wood here? One, four, crap, I'm gonna need five. Um, <laughs> hi, jungle log, I'm just gonna borrow you. Uh, I'm actually a little bit stressed about this. I, I never really stress in this game with dying, but I... For for our explosion, I need some um, I need some sponges to clear some water. And I went out to the ocean farm. First of all, I probably I have somewhere lost my flight well, Probably when that creeper killed me in the Nether that I told you about last time. Um, and I I for the first time ever I wasn't flying over to over to the Guardian farm. Uh, that was a little bit annoying. So we should we need to get a new flight bow, but. Then I flew, I flew down like I've done a hundred times before, down to the actually actual farm floor. You know where we have the minecarts and all that? And I landed just like I usually do, but I hit the ground too hard. I don't know if they've changed something in 1.10, but it really felt like I'm taking way more fall damage now than I've done in the past. Two issues here. First of all, the minecart should pick up our stuff. I can't remember if I made a if I made a burn machine for <laughs> for anything that it doesn't sort. I don't think I did. But second of all, I died right at the side where I know that there's lava. So it's a little bit scary. We should be seeing. It's gonna be hard to find my stuff. <laughs> should be going into this chest here since it's not full. Also, I need food desperately. Get that out of there. I'm cooking up some iron because we're gonna need to collect. Um, Leaves as well for this for this TNT project. Okay, maybe if I look over the edge. I died right over there. And there's lava there. This is going to be scary. Oh, here comes some TNT and some shears. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> My stuff is coming up. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay. All right, let's, uh, let's go down here though. See what happened. There's the axe, there's the lava. Um, so I got the axe. I'm pretty sure some stuff have fallen down here. Jeez. Yeah, some stuff have probably fallen down there. I still haven't... There, there's still things in the... In the... Um, in, in the... Elevator, I think. It's gonna go pretty slow when it's that much items. But jeez, like... I, I wish I could have caught that on camera, but I just flew down very slowly like it felt very slowly anyway and just got wrecked um anyway i'm gonna try and get the stuff together and i'll have to go to the end craft up some new stuff if i if i or, or replace whatever i lost hopefully my elytra made it though there's no telling yet uh but i thought i had more sponges there we go um yeah, and then I'm also gonna go and collect some leaves. Some leaves. We got tons of slime here. That's important. That's good to know because when we want to use that new magma block, you know. Um, hopefully all the TNT or most of the TNT survived as well. Otherwise, I have to redo all the sand process. I have a little bit more gunpowder. Jeez! Take it easy when flying in 1.10 apparently. Hi, Dropper. Please have my stuff in you. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think it actually ran out of items to spit out as I said that. Oh, this is bad, ladies and gentlemen. This is so bad. That means that I lost most of the stuff, actually. I can't believe it. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh. I just, I've, I've been running around down there, covering up the lava hole. I've been looking everywhere, and I've been like, I can't believe it. The lava was kind of far away, and... I was, I was just about to give up and, and head to the end and go to the end city when I realized down there that, hold on, maybe because of the water stream, some items may skip this first column. And look at this! Here we go! My pickaxe. Yeah, very good. My elytra. I don't think I had leggings. There's some more leaves. Um, the, the thing that gave it away, that it made it too unreal, was that I had six stacks of TNT. Yeah, yeah, okay, I did have leggings. Fantastic. I had six stacks of TNT, as you can see. Any, any more here? And it just didn't make sense that all of it would be gone. Like, I had one and a half stack left. Um, but there you go. Wow. Hoo -hoo. I got a little bit salty there, if I'm honest. <laughs> I don't really mind dying in this game, but it's... Oh, there we go. Some more. It's when you have, like, something very exciting planned. You know the feeling. And then you die. It's, um... Uh, then it's it's a little bit sad, I suppose. Yeah, so let's take a look at this, actually. Um, how this is working from up here. I suppose I've just done the item stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what we should do here is what we have done over at the, uh... At the new place. Do I have any smooth stone? I do. I'm gonna go ahead and change this. I'm happy that that uh, that I thought about this before I went to the end. I'm gonna do this. And that should mean that all items goes into this hopper. Maybe some items will make it over to this one. No, no. They all seem to go down in the first one. Good. <clears throat> that's, that's better. Because um, obviously from there then... We, we, we shoot them through, so now they will always go down first. Okay, so did I get everything back? Six stacks exactly of TNT, or my armor, my pickaxe, and my bow I did get, or I put here. That's a new sound, by the way. <laughs> um, and I got all the sponges that I originally came here for. Okay, so I'm gonna go and collect some more leaves. Gonna need quite a bit of leaves for this operation. Very exciting operation. Um, so I'm gonna go and collect that, and then we can start blowing things up. It's the plan. Look at the spawn rate of this thing, ladies and gentlemen. I just saw it now. Oh my goodness, this is insane. This is proper cave lighting. Look at this box here. It just continuously spawns guardian fishes. And I say that and it stops spawning them. Dang it! It did for a long time though. <laughs> like AFK here for a second and you'll get like millions and millions of fish and sea lantern material and... Holy smokes, this thing is quick. I don't think like resource needy wise, I don't think I'll ever need to, be to make this farm bigger than what it is at the moment. Uh, we're of course going to finish it one day. Um, just for the heck of it, but uh, I don't think I need to need to ever finish it. But anyway, I got my leaves now, so I'm gonna head back and hopefully um, start start blowing up things because that's what I've been waiting to do. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to blow some stuff up? Of course you are. But we gotta we gotta do some prep work first. I'm looking at my frames and. There's something wrong with, with that area there in my world. Um, <laughs> ooh, some cows. Anyway, we're gonna blow up a hole here, and I marked this out. This is a 21, or actually a 23 by 23 uh, square. And you can see the corners at the yellow blocks there, with the center being those two blocks there. Um, it's not a perfect square at the moment, but it, it will eventually be when we blow it out. Now, here's what we gotta do. We have to blow this out all the way <laughs> down to bedrock. 
And that's gonna be a pretty big explosion. And I wanted to try, just for the fun of it, I wanna try and make this a perfect uh, explosion. So I did I did uh, go into a creative world and I did try a little bit how TNT works uh, because I always mess the TNT, uh, TNT blow-ups out. And <clears throat> I will show you, let's get rid of this water. I'll show you what, how we're gonna place this TNT to get this perfect. Um, where are the other? There we go. My dog is celebrating something, probably because she knows. She knows that there'd be blasting in Minecraft. I mean, that's that's the one of the most amazing things that you can do in this game. Whenever you get the chance to blow something up, you take that chance, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is a little bit scary as well, because this is on the island, and, and I want to terraform and make this area beautiful. But we're going to need this hole for something. I'm not going to tell you what, but for something. Um, anyway... Here's what I came up with. We're gonna dig all the way down here, and hopefully we won't hit... Oop. This ghost blocking issue is still in 1.10. Hopefully we will not hit any... Uh, oh, I don't have a beacon here. Hopefully we won't hit any lava, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig all the way down to bedrock. That's the first step. And then I'll show you how we place the blocks. Alright, so the first hole has been dug all the way down to bedrock, and we were a little bit lucky because there was no lava. Here's how we're going to place it. We're going to go one TNT, two leaves. One TNT, two leaves. This will allow us to be able to trigger the TNT all the way from the top, and all the TNT should be affected. Um, and every hole here, I didn't actually account for this hole when I did this in creative. I just dug straight down, but I realized... <laughs> I realized that may not be the best thing to do in survival. First teach, the first lesson that they give you is... Ooh, I did that wrong. First lesson that they give you is never dig down, right? Uh, I am also interested to see approximately how much TNT this will use. And if we'll have enough. I doubt it. Oh, we're almost up there. Okay, let's see. One, two, one, one, two, one. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, the, the thing with the leaves is that that is the least blast resistant thing I could think about. Um, and that's, uh, in my testing, it, it went really well with the, with, the TN, with, the, with the leaves. Okay, so that's cool. Now, we have to have one hole, we have to go then two to the side, and do another hole there. Two to the side, and do another hole here. Because TNT will blast a 3x3 three three radius with, uh, if it's stone, and then a little bit more if it's, if it's dirt. This is going to be a gigantic explosion, so let me see if we can get a little bit of a pattern here. One, two, here. One, two, here. And all the way over here. And we used a third of a stack uh, of TNT. And yeah, <laughs> this is going to require a lot of TNT. <laughs> wow. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, all the TNT has been placed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That took ages, absolutely ages, to do that. I was thinking like, yeah, it'll just take an hour, but um, I think I've spent over over six hours just digging down and placing TNT. But it's all done now. The next step now is to wire this up. I Before blowing all of this up, I kind of want to have a cool mechanic or cool thing that happens. Uh, so here's my plan. I'm going to go and place chiseled stone on top of all the TNTs, like as so. all. We have like rows of TNT here, right? So this should be fairly simple to get wired correctly. Um, and then on top of that, I'm gonna run, let's see, some brick. Um, all of this will of course blow up, so. Let's count this though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, oh, of course, of course it's going to be 21, <laughs> or 22 even, with the, with the border. Um, okay, that means that we need to strengthen the signal halfway through, which will leave a, leave a little bit of a delay. I was hoping to, to not have to do that, but okay. So, <clears throat> I want to have the explosion be as controlled as possible, right? Uh, let's see, if we... We strengthen it here, that should be fine. Um, and that will give a, a one tick delay, but not much we can do about it. Then what I was thinking is we have to have a cool, like, fire mechanic. So I think 
the fire mechanic is going to be a pulse generated by a hopper. Uh, maybe... Let's just build something small up here. This is the center. Maybe we'll place the hopper right uh, here. This is just, you know, the, you don't have to do this if you blow up stuff. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll drop a, a thing into this. This thing will turn on. And that will give us the, the signal. Um, we also want to be able to see what's happening here in a nice fashion. So I'm thinking we'll have like a tube. And we'll stand up here and hopefully not get affected by the TNT. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be exciting! Alright ladies and gentlemen, the bomb is primed or wired. And hopefully I haven't missed any wire. Oh, that would be catastrophic. I did take a backup of my world before I did these wires, just in case something breaks. Uh, we got our little platform up there. <clears throat> First though, I was thinking we may just as well make the most out of uh, this TNT. Get rid of some garbage while we're at it. But this is going to be a huge explosion. I'm, I'm very, very excited. Don't think I've ever made such a big explosion. We'll see though. Can we get up there? Oh, that's going to be a tricky throw. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. All we have to do now... Oh, actually, we have to we have to prime it, right? So let's just make sure nothing is in the hopper. And get rid of you. Put the comparator down there. And now, now everything should be primed. Okay, maybe I'll just pillar up there instead. Trying to ender pearl my way. To no wall, to ender pearl, to and stuff and things. Okay. So, I got two cobblestone in there. And I got a wire up here. So when I click this button, that will send an item into that. And then that should trigger everything here. Let's just take one last look. <laughs> okay. Bye, beautiful, beautiful landscape. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea if we're safe up here, but YOLO! Here we go. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 it's going, it's going. Woohoohoo! Jeez! Did you guys see that pro move? I have to lower that in, in, in the video. I forgot to lower my volume before I did that. Oh my god. Oh, some of them actually failed though. That must be because... Um, I don't know actually. I placed everything the same order. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Let's get rid of this garbage and just take a look at this. Holy crap! Deserves a, a, a UK swear word. Such as crap, which isn't a swear word in the US, I don't think. Oh, I was, I was happy that I moved away from the glass. I think that would have killed me, honestly. Um, okay, let's do... Oh, no, missed it. Dang it! Anyway, <laughs> let's take a look at what we did. Jeez! Oh my goodness, look at this. I'm sorry, this just excites me so much. Um, one thing is for certain, though. It was a bit of a fail. It must have been because there was a cave or something and some of the TNT got shot to the side because all of this garbage needs to be cleared up now. So like efficiency wise, do this as opposed to just dig it out with a speed 5. Ooh, my mouse went. There we go. It's back. With a haste 5 beacon, it's probably a hundred times quicker to dig it out because this clearing up will probably take an hour or so as well. But still though, it's so much fun. <laughs> Uh, you know, you spend you spend a day prepping and then you have you have fun for like one second. <laughs> um, okay, so we have a little bit of TNT left there. There's quite a bit there actually. That's weird. And yeah, here something has happened because there you can see a, a TNT stick shaft thingamajing. Um so TNT. No, no TNT there, so yeah, very weird. Anyway, what are we going to use this hole for, you may ask? And why did we just destroy half of the island? Well, I think this is going to... I think we're going to be able to make this look super pretty in the end. Um, we are going to use this hole for 
a surprise because we ain't gonna do that today i am very very tired and need a break <laughs> after all of the collection and digging and because i had to go on and collect more tnt by the way in case you wondered i think i used at the end like 10 stacks so it wasn't too far off uh, Boom. Anyway, <clears throat> there's a lot of clearing to do as well, which I'll probably get to some other day. Um, but we're going to use this hole for something that's really, really cool. And I ain't going to spoil it. Please do guess why would I dig out this hole. Take a guess down in the comments. It would be very interesting to see uh, what you guys guess. I know a, a few of you may, may definitely figure it out. Um... And we're going to try and make it look pretty, even though it's a gigantic hole just in the middle of our base. But anyway, that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Ended with a big boom, they say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to hit the like button. And if you're new, you should subscribe. Anyway, have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you in the next episode.